In one of our last videos, we made the program for reading the year, month, day, hour, minute and second from PLC clock using the built-in SFC1 function block of the PLC. In this video, I will make the program for reading the weekday from the PLC clock, right? As you can see in this diagram, that the date and time data type, that is the 64-bit, well, the byte zero represents year, right? The byte one month, day, hour, minute, second, and millisecond, so on. Well, the last byte, that is the byte seven, the, the least significant bits, the four least significant bits of the last byte represent the weekday in this order, right? So let's try to make the PLC program for it and I will demonstrate how it is equivalent to weekdays. Now let's make the program. I will open the semantic manager and we'll go to the organization block OB1. Here I have already made the logic for extracting year, month, day, hour, minute and second. Let me tell you one thing that I have to make the logic for extracting the weekday from the PLC clock time in STL. I can't use later logic because I have to end the byte value with hexadecimal value F. And I will explain why I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Well, as you can see in this image, the byte number seven, byte seven, sorry, the last byte. And in the last byte, the, the four least significant bits store the information about the weekday. So what I have to do in my logic, LB39, LB39 is the last byte of the date and time variable. It starts from 32 in this case. The last byte, four, signif four least significant bits contain the information about the weekday. So those four least significant bits are important for me. Let me explain it. Well, suppose I have a byte 0101. One zero zero one. Suppose byte seven are in this case LB thirty nine. That is the last byte contains the information zero one zero one one zero zero one. In this byte, these four least significant bits are important because these bits contain the information about the weekday so i have to end it with another byte whose value is like this once i end it well this is equivalent to f the hexadecimal character f sorry the hexadecimal number f once i end it the result will be would be like this Since all these are zeros, they have no significance. And the actual value that I require to find out the weekday would be extracted. And I can store it in any other byte. For example, I store it in byte for byte number 44. So that's the way how I extract the least four least significant bits. Now let's make the program. Go to the organization block. LB. First I will load LB39. Well, LB39 is the last byte of the date and time variable that starts from 32. Pretty simple. I'm going to load another byte whose value is F. Th 
this is the byte that has the value f. First I loaded this byte, I'll be 39, then I loaded f and then I'm going to do the aimed word operation because I can't simply apply the end that I use for bit operations. I have to use the instruction a word. And once that end operation is done, I'm going to transfer the result to the byte with the name of weekday. So pretty simple. Done. I'm going to save and I'm going to download the saved program to the PLC. Now I'm going to monitor it and observe what is the result. Well, the weekday value now is 6 and today is Friday. So as I can show you, well, the 6 value corresponds to Friday, today's Friday. So this is how we extract the weekday value from the PLC clock date and time variable. If you have any question about it, you can ask me in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.